red. Hello, everybody. Greetings, my friends. It's the Jim and Dave's beer, beer review. review. And Dave, will you please yeah. tell our audience out there what's on tap for this beer we review? Have, we have Founders Brewing Company's Dankwood. That's a horrible name. Yeah, but it could be good, though. I mean, I've heard Dank to be uh, describing, say, an IPA, and that they've been good. It's an Imperial Red IPA aged in bourbon barrels. Hmm. Okay. Well, I love anything, just almost anything aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, and a red IPA, you say? Yes, red. And it's well, what like, makes it red? Uh, what makes it red? I would suppose... Because uh, I've had red amber lagers before, but I don't know. Too many red IPAs. caramel IPAs. notes make it red. Caramel notes, Okay. It's a 12.2 uh, ABV, 65 IBU. Uh, it says, what you get when a big, bold, imperial red IPA meets an oak barrel. I, oak barrel. A palate stunner. Why don't you take two on that one, buddy? Sorry, we'll edit buddy. that other one out. I am totally raw and uncensored. That's fine. It says here, a palate stunner that will send your senses spinning off. No, I'm serious. Can you do that sentence again? I, you lost me. Oh, I did? Okay. What do you get when a big, bold, imperial red IPA meets a oak barrel, oak bourbon barrel? Take three. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you keep wanting to go on with that sentence. An oak barrel. Okay. Oak okay. Barrel. What do you get? I'm going to have this so good. It's like I'm studying Please. for Star Wars here. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've already poured the beer, but go ahead. It's all right. Uh, what do you get when a big, bold, imperial red IPA meets a oak bourbon barrel? That's exactly what it says. It says what it says. And look at it. It says what it says. I just want to have a little more savoir faire on that. You know, get your savoir faire and stick up Dank the wood. It's actually one word on here, whereas on the label it looks like two. Imperial red IPA aged in bourbon barrels. The 2018 ABV. And this is going to change from year to year. 12.2%, which is nice. Oh, this you will not like. IBU, 65. I know, I know you said that. I know, I don't, I don't like that much. But I'll beer rating, it. rate beer rating, 96. That's not bad. Made of June. Well, we're in June now. What do you get when a big, bold, imperial red IPA meets an oak bourbon barrel? See, it's a question. You have to give a little question at the end. A uh, bourbon barrel? What do you get? Ooh, boo, 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 boo. A palate stunner that, that'll send your senses spinning. Or, as we like to call it, dank wood. Now, rich caramel notes emerge from the depths of the IPA, highlighting the strong malt character, while the bourbon barrel aging develops the complexity. Now, a dank, sticky, and slightly sweet sipper, it's a sipper, Dave, so don't gulp this, dank wood is the perfect alchemy of wood and hops. Wood. Yes. So if you drank this in the morning, it would be like you had morning wood. Boing! Dave, let's give this a look. Well, that is on the red side, and you know what? I cannot see it through this at all. This is very, very hazy. This is, it's actually opaque. It's not black. No, this is dank. But it is, uh, it's deep caramel color. And it's, it's sort of a light, light, creamy, this Take is kind of like the Weyerbacher 22nd anniversary or something. You think so? Yep, because it's a red. Let's do a little sniff. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. What's this small print here? What does this mean? Bottle on 04 18, 18. So April 18th, this is when it was bottled. That's kind of nice of them. 12.2% ale. So they obviously want to use this label again, but uh, I think obviously they think that specs are going to change from year to year. Which is cool. Thank you very much, Founders, for doing that. We do appreciate the bottom line date. I'll get Shane. I may have to buy another one of these just to age. Cheers. Oh, really quick, we did sniff it. But uh, actually, it smells very similar to the taste, which is very odd. Um, I'm not a fan. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I used fan. to think I liked red... It's just like the wire broker. I mean, I, I've kept, I have like four or five, I mean, I have three or four. I don't know whatever I have left. And so you remember, you, we, you bought a case and you, you gave me half of a case way yeah. back in like August or September, whatever it was. But I still have a few of them left and we pull them out once in a while and they're okay, but they're not like. 
Which one was this? The 22nd anniversary beer oh, for yeah. Weibacher. I still, I was had that one, the first one, one that was not a stout? That was the first one that was not a stout, right? And I was oh, like, that we had. That we had. And I was like, uh, aren't the uh, anniversary beers supposed to be stouts? And this yeah. one wasn't. Well, I think what it was was you and I had two or one or two stouts in a row, and that was one that wasn't. However, we had 20th anniversary, 21st anniversary, which were both awesome, and I still have one or two left of each one of those. And then, like, then we got the barely legal, and the barely legal was like, that's not part of this. That's different. Yeah, barely we thought legal. it was. We but... thought it should be, but it wasn't. Right. So we got the 22nd anniversary, and it was like, here's a red beer. Was it red? It was red. Okay. And while it not being bad, no, it was not, not as good as being a stout. Right, we were a little... Uh, Let down. Well, we had expectations of stouts for that, because it seemed like that was their stouts, thing. Like stouts, 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 stouts. And actually, stouts. we've, uh, and myself, by myself, when I went to Capone's, they brought out like a 16, or they would bring out like an 18, out of, you know, out of nowhere. I'd be like, ooh. And I remember there was one, it was actually some kind of uh, a wheat, or it was something along those lines, I forget which one. But I was just like, and it was really, really good. So I thought, okay. So they're obviously in the history, you know, I obviously came late to the Weyerbacher game. because How it, late did we come to the Weyerbacher game? We've been doing well, this for five years. How I, long has the Weyerbacher been around for? Well, the first anniversary I think we had was a 20. Did they have 19, 18, Well, 17, I assume 16? if they've had anniversary beers, and well, I don't know if they so did So we're talking like year. 20 years then. Yeah, I mean, they maybe, maybe they started their 10 year. Who knows? Did they been, did they, have they always done an anniversary beer? I have no to. idea. But uh, yeah, the ones we got and very very nice people, by the way. And I'll just tell this really quick antidote. Yes. Antidote. One of the best because times I've ever had. I, I, have, a, a, I have a virus, ever. so they have an antidote. Excuse me, anecdote. That uh, we anecdote. bought some of their Sunday morning stout. Uh, we had a four pack, and the bottom came out of it. Two bottles exploded did on you my get floor. Something? Did they were, they were, dropped when you were holding them. I know, I'm saying you, you said something to them and they replied yes, to you. Yes, well, that was it. I, I tweeted them and I, I did a picture of my floor. Uh, luckily, my floor upstairs, my kitchen, has tiles. And so it didn't, like, soak through or anything. It was just, you know, the glass and the darkness. It's a lot to clean up. You know, once you get the glass up, then you have to mop up. And then you have to sort of do a secondary mopping because beer is very sticky. And so I was a little... Uh, disappointed that their packaging for the four pack was so weak that uh, two the beers, broke out of oh, four. Well, two basically broke. Yeah, two broke. And the other ones were like, "Well, let's not open them for a while because they've obviously been agitated. We don't want them to explode when we open the cap." And I said, "Hey, you know, guys, you know, what's? Uh, I realize you don't spend the most money on your bottles or your cans and your packaging. Well, didn't you find their bottles to be not so good when you tried to right? Them off, I, so. I, I." I brew my own beer, and I've had problems with uh, reusing the bottles from Weyerbacher. I try to cap it, and then the, the top of the bottle would break. And uh, maybe that's due to my going through the dishwasher, which has a heating sanitizing cycle. But I decided, okay, I'm not using Weyerbacher bottles. Uh, I'm not recycling them for my own personal use. Uh, and that's fine. So, But, you know, it's a very competitive industry, and you want to save money. So I don't fault any brewery. Uh, for the cost saving measures in terms of the packaging as long as it makes it to me which in this case the bottom of the four pack came out things fell out now what happened there was did it get damp I don't know but anyway I wasn't happy at the time because it was expensive beer and so much for a quick anecdote but long story short I tweeted them I sent a picture to like hey we'll reimburse you for the four pack and I said you don't have to reimburse me for the four pack only two bottles broke. I'm not looking for a freebie. I do appreciate what you're saying there, but just give me you know, whatever the cost of two of them is. They're like, well, that's kind of low. Let's just round it up to $10. I was like, thank you very much. Uh, I actually deleted the tweet because I didn't want anything negative out there because they made it right. And which, by the way, making it right, if you have a business, goes a long to way towards giving people a high opinion of your brand. And uh, Weyerbacher certainly did that in that instance. All right, that was way too long talking so about So they, they gave you the $10? I got a check for $10. Well, that's my $10. I bought that beer. You're right. And I used it to buy beer to give to you. Oh, is that right? You never told me about Dave, this, man. We just talked about uh, Weyerbacher for four minutes. Let's get back to the I tank. I know that. We're getting back to the dank. 
which I think is okay. I give it like a six. Well, I've long since discovered, which is funny. When I was young, I thought I really liked. It. I give it a seven. Like give it a seven. Well, I, well, I think of red beers, Dave. I think of Irish beers. Like this is an Irish red. I always associated Irish red with Irish beers. And uh, actually, as I've gotten older, I discovered I'm not a huge fan of red as I thought when I was younger. When I was younger, I think there was more of a novelty. It was certainly a malt forward style. Now this one, while I can certainly taste the oak notes, uh, the malt character of a red- I scotch ale in this. Perhaps. is not necessarily something I'm a fan of. So uh, while I'll drink this, and I'm very tempted to buy one and age it to see what happens to it. It'd be better if you just got one and aged it. I yeah. think it'd be better that way. And what was the ABV? 12.2. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of that, a little bit of the heat on the back end, but not a whole lot. I'm not too much of a fan of Scottish ales, I think. Yeah. Type of thing. Well, is it Scottish or is it a red? It's red Scottish type stuff. Yeah. Well, what did it say? Did we already forget? Red bourbon, but yeah, I can feel Scottish here. A red, I, oh, okay. So, usually when I would say about having a red um, Irish, that's usually a lager. So this is a lager, it's actually an IPA. So a red IPA, I guess that means they use the malts that might be in a red Irish and made an IPA out of it. So yeah, not a huge fan. I probably, Dave, I think I have to give this a five out of 10. A five? A 12.2, a five? I'm not like you, I don't give stuff extra points for alcohol, usually. Well, I do. I mean, yeah, it's got the bitterness of an IPA. And yeah, I wow, do I've never get seen the, you give a 12.2 a five before. Wow. Well, and what's really unusual is the fact that this is a Founders. And that wow. I hold Founders to being maybe in the top five breweries of all time. Uh, yeah, I'd give, I'd say five, top five. Yeah, you got Weyerbacher, you got Victory, you got... Uh, well, let's just say there's others. Let's not get too specific. Uh, no. But yeah, not a I huge... I like to be Pacific, especially the Pacific I like to Ocean. be Atlantic. <laughs> and I like to be Aquaman, king of the seven seas. But you know the new one. You should like, read a new comic. Him and him and uh, uh, Jabberjaw get together, man. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. Hey, Apple like, Man, I want to come over here. He's like, do 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 what I say. He's like, yeah. And the Flash gets with a speed buggy, man. You should get with that too. It's really cool, man. Anyway, we're not talking about comics. And you should get with a woman because you need to get laid big time. Do obviously. So if you're a woman and you like at least a nine incher, talk to this guy here. I know I've seen it, but not hard. <laughs> it's been a long time. God, well, I just think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> See, this is the stuff. I get videos deleted from YouTube all the time, and I know this is the reason. Though. This is going when, out the door. When we go to this doing... dark place, that's what gets deleted. <laughs> I know what it is. But uh, someday, <laughs> someday when I'm retired, I have time to edit all this nonsense. Isn't there enough time? Like, if you get, like, how, long did, how many videos do you... Do you, does it take to get rid of your account off of YouTube to get kicked off? I mean, if you get like 10 videos taken off to get kicked off of YouTube? Uh, I've been kicked off, yeah, but I know I've had at least five to 10 things show up to say, this vi they don't tell you which video is deleted, they just said one was deleted. Oh, now, whether that's because the brewery complained or maybe we said a adult word and we didn't. Don't you have an NC-17 thing on your... Yeah, I stopped doing that. Oh, you did? Well, you should keep on doing that. Well, the problem is you can't watch it unless you're logged in. And people on Facebook, when I put on Facebook, aren't logged into YouTube. Here's another problem I have, okay, is a lot of the people that watch our stuff are not signing into Google. Yeah, they're just watching it. They watch it, and they don't now get listen, a view I would, I would love it. to make our videos adults only, but then I had somebody uh, on Facebook complain, I can't watch it because it has a restriction on it now. I'm like, well... Do you not have an account? But, you know, they, that's... Don't you have the incognito thing? All right, so Dave, did you give us a number on this? I did. I gave it a seven. All right. Seven from Dave, five from me. Obviously, uh, Dave you. likes it a lot better than me. Uh, not a, necessarily a thing for me, but I do appreciate what founders try to do. Uh, really quick, don't drink it for pregnant. Nope. Uh, don't drink and drive. Nope. Don't operate heavy machinery. Nope. And too much drinking causes health, health problems. That's right. That's the reason digest for We you. love you. And the reason we do this is we believe you should drink great beers. And have a good laugh to your friends. Be our friends. Yep. Subscribe to our channel. Give thumbs up, you. thumbs down, all that good stuff like that there. Yep. If uh, you think well, our opinions are not uh, in line with yours, we would love to hear you. So comment below. Yes. All right. See you guys. Bye, I'm people. just trying to wrap it up quick because we're knocking on 15 minutes. And go. we all know that's the limit unless uh, somehow you do something with YouTube that yeah. I haven't done yet. Uh, that's right. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye, Pop.